And we're ready to begin. It will be Johan to throw first for the ball. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 25. Our next match is Johan Engström from Sweden and this man Christian de Boer the from the Netherlands. Johan won the ball. First leg, it's Johan. And what a nickname first. Johan Engström has. The sweet ferret. Yes, apparently. We have also a famous 41. player whose next name is the ferret. But Johan is the sweet ferret. <laughs> wow. I've no words. No. My flabber has never been so tested. Exactly that. Johan Engstrom came through his group in the World Masters. He won three out of four. 100. Lost his first game to Marcus Mayer. Then defeated David Fiddler, Danny Debye and Sebastian Steyer. That got him through to the knockouts, but he defeated Dominic Grulich in the first round. Defeated David Kerwin by five legs to four in the last 64. Then his run came to an end as he fires in the first maximum of the match. Run came to an end in the hands of the Frenchman Jacques Labre, beating five legs to three. Has a couple of 25. world ranking titles to his name as well. He won the Estonia Open in 2011 and then won the Finnish Open in 2012. And he takes on the Dutchman, 32 years old, Christian de Boer. 41. Has some international experience playing for the Netherlands. He represented the Netherlands at the <coughs> Six Nations in Scotland this year. Yes, he did. Was the first time, was the first time for this young man. 139. We'll talk a little bit more about him in a second as we have a look at Engstrom going for the 139. Yes. Nice trouble will be handy to put himself on top. 59. Yep. He can't find it. So. Let's see if Christian can put some pressure on the right seat. And it looks like he's going to do that. Beautiful 180 from Christian de Boer to lead himself Johan on 58. But it's Johan first on 80. 20, yes, another single leaves tops. Tops it is for the first leg for the speed. No. 40. Christian, you require Gives 58. Gives a chance. 18 for tops. There is the 18. Double 10 now. And there it is. From the first a break leg. of throw Christian in the first leg for Christian de Boer. Second he came leg. through his group Christian also in the World first. Masters. He won three out of game four. One. Lost his first game to Roscoe, the Italian Francesco Rascini, four legs to three. He then defeated Sergio Krasin, Christoph Engel, and 61. Mike Dwyer. Krasin, he defeated 4 0. His other two, he won 4 3. That qualified him for the knockout stages where he lost his first match. Five legs to three to Oli Holtkamp of Germany. 100. De Boer currently 276th in the WDF's world rankings compared to Johan, who is 351st. However, Johan is ranked number 16 in the North Europe regional ranking table. Yeah, Johan doesn't don't travel a lot. He only played in Scandinavian tournaments. Also in the Nordic and Baltic system in the PDC. Qualified for a couple of Euro Tours this year. Managed to make it to the quarterfinals of the singles at the WDF World Cup three years ago. Lost out to the legend. The legend that is Peter Machen yes. from Australia. Peter Machen. He's not here, but he qualified for the World Championships for the first time in his career. And already won a BDO major Indeed. in 2016. BDO World Trophy champion. Check 17, he won it. Yes. 16, he made it to the final. Lost that final to Daryl Fitton, then defeated Martin Phillips in the final the year after. Yes. So, hello, Peter, if you're watching. Looking forward to seeing you at the lakeside. Long overdue, it has to be said. You and your require 80. Next match on stage after this one okay. as Engstrom misses tops for a 80 finish. We will have Thibaut Tricol of France taking on Pero Ljubic 96. from Croatia. You are Croat, to a fault, who will be high, higher than a pilot's lunchbox after the football yesterday. 
Yeah, what the result that was. Oh. Oh. Christian, you require 87. Some incredible football matches yesterday. Some incredible darts today. And incredibly, the Boer's going to win this leg if he hits double nine. 69. He's not going to do it. So he only returns for double Johan, ten. require 20. Double trouble so far for Engstrom. But finally okay, puts it behind him, wins the second leg against the throw, breaks directly back. And we have parity once more first. at one apiece. Game on. For 120. Nice start from Engstrom in this leg, 120 points scored. Hello. 140. See response from De Boer. I'm going to give you a few updates on some of the results on the floor. Jordan Brooks, the man from England, is 2-1 up against Marco Cantele. Wesley Plaisier just started and he's 2-1 up. John Scott, the man from England, 3-1 up at the moment. 60. Richard Feinstra is playing against hey, Arjan Konterman, the man who we've seen earlier on stage this weekend. You know, I still haven't seen Richard this weekend. 58. That's how big the World Masters is. You wander around and you see people. Well, I'll see people today that I haven't seen for the full week. <laughs> like yesterday, I bumped into Chris Landman 100. for the first time. <laughs> Some of I didn't know they were even here. Mm. Yeah, it's massive, especially today, because everybody could enter today. For the World Masters, you have to qualify in your own region or to make it to a final. You or yeah, this is different ways to qualify for the World Masters, but this is an open tournament for everyone. So, everybody could enter. 48. So, we've seen a lot more names today who are not playing in the World Masters, but they will play today and Monday in the Lakeside World Championships qualifier. 40. And a score of 40 floor you you require 40. for Christian De Boer as Johan takes aim at 48. That's an eight. Tops it is for the third leg, double 10. No. 38. So an outside chance for De Boer. Christian, you require 145. 145. Yes. Yes, treble 16. Oh. You stay there though. 72 left. Well, 80. It's not. It's not the best you dodge. You're ten. Double it's five. Good. Double five. Ooh, difficult. Yeah, a little bit awkward the way his dart lies on the board. Ooh. Can he find some space? Maybe in the right corner. No. Oh, that, was cool. that was the plan. So Christian on 65. You require 65. 25. So 48. Tops for the man from the Netherlands. No. 45. Maybe rush that just a little. You and you require 10. But Engstrom with another chance at 10. Double five. Gage this time he makes sure of it. Leg. Takes a 2 1 lead. Fourth leg. It's Christian to throw first. The momentum firmly with the sweet. Win the last two legs. Yeah. You see him in the back. He's not happy. This way his doubles is going, I think. 30. Christian not too happy either. Only 30 to kick off this leg. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Gian van Veen, another new upcoming sensation, 100. I would call it, mm. wins his match with a hundred plus averages. Great start from the young Dutchman. Yep, averaging 15 darts a leg. Christian. I think he's an outsider for Monday. Absolutely. He's certainly been tearing it up on the, the Pro Tour. The ones he's been invited to. Yeah, and he, quali he made it to a final. Indeed. Zingstrom batters in a 180. Leave himself in 1 2 1. He qualified for also for the Players' Championship 60. Finals and only played you a couple of Pro Tours. Shows you how good he is. Goes the 25 route on 1 2 1. Double 18 for a 1 2 1 finish. Yes! Game what a fantastic finish from Johan Engstrom. 
nice little 12 dollar and now he finds the double with the first dart game on double trouble what double trouble this is more like it this is the this is the Johan Angst round we know absolutely also plays for the Swedish team 60. for a long long time so many good Swedish players indeed 60. Yeah, they, they always do well on Europe and World Cups Fifty-eight. One hundred and thirty-four. Eighty-five. Eileen de Graaf just getting ready to start her last sixty-four match. Johnny Tata. Ready to start his last one to eight, as is Chris Landman and Kai Fan Lung. They're just warming up at the minute. Tom Sawyer of the United States 3 0 up on Tim Nieborg. Brianne Locken winning a 58. all Christian Danish Dereka clash by three legs to one. So Christian has again the advantage in the leg from Johan Angstrom. Well, he has to because he's 3 1 down. We've just seen a 12 dollar from Johan, and now after 12 dollars, he's only did half of the leg. 40. So Christian on 82, let's see what 82. he can do. Bull. 17. Tops. Nearly. 42. He's coming back for it. Yes, he will return. 2-2 at the moment with Arjan Konterman. 58. Make that 3 2 to Richard. 40. As the board goes for tops. Yes. The fifth leg. Yeah, he gets Christian a leg back on the board. board. Saves the match. A break of throw. So. Six leg. It's Christian to throw first. Really going with throw once Game again off. in this match. Maud Janssen. 3 2 down at the moment. So we're playing on stage earlier, very well she did too. But yeah. In danger of dropping out of the tournament. Yeah, she beat the 60. New Zealand sensation. Nicole Reno. Yep. Four legs to nil. The well, story was missed doubles 60. from Nicole throughout that match. Yeah, the Swedish people do really well on the stage. This is the third one. The other two won. At one won his match. Mo Johnson won a match, and Johan is three two up. So it's looking good for the Swedes on the stage. It certainly is that. One hundred. It's also looking good for Natalie Gilbert at the moment. She's two 0 up in her match. Stefan de Pre, the flaming Fleming. Currently three two up in an old Belgian affair. Barry Copeland 3 0 up in his match. David Kerwin 3 1 up against Jurgen Bronkhorst. Make that 4 1. David Kerwin through to the next round. Christian, you require 130. The guy from Belgium, David Fenken, 3 2 up against Mark Tabak. Mark Tabak, who was in the Dutch Open final 2020 in the youth. That is correct. 58. I remember, I was there. Yeah, because she was the MC, I think. I think so. Well, Engstrom, I don't know if he's maybe... He saw the finish line and Christian, you require 72. his standard has dropped, but De Boer has six starts from 72 to get into the next leg. Take it to a decider. He will, he will come back for it because Yo, Johan Engstrom is on 218. He needs a big score to give himself... well. Maybe not even a chance, 96. but he has a chance now if Christian misses. 40. Christian needs 40, now double 10 to make it 3 all. Yeah, the fact that he's on a finish is giving Christian something to think about here, 30. and indeed. So you we're going to look at the 18s now. 22. Four 18s leave the ball. That's one. We need a treble. Yes, bullseye for the match. 
No, just pulls it into the two. Christian De Boer, three darts, double five. This is a key dart, can't come inside. One to go. Yes, it's there. And we have a decider here. Between Engstrom and De Boer. Johan to throw first, game on. That is Johan Engstrom who will start us off in leg number seven. The seventh and deciding leg of this match. 60. And trading 60s. Christian doing it the hard way, of course, with the single 19 and the treble 7. Yeah. That's a good last dart from your one. Open. Christian definitely needs to follow, he needs the treble. Oh, only 30. So your one is a big advantage here to win the match. Yep, could be in a bit of trouble now. Ooh, that's a great first dart. Great he, second dart. He could be in a bit of trouble now. 140. Great darts from the man from Sweden, Johan Engström. I have the feeling that Christian, I was going to say, needed a 180 here, but... He definitely needed massive, massive scores, 30. which he's not going to get. Only 30 again. Advantage Engström. And it could be all over, bar the shouting here. Quick look at some of the 100. scores. Marco Cantley, Jordan Brooks currently 3-3. Three, three. Stefan Dupre 3-3 three, three in his match against Wouter van Rolligham. And David Venkin 3-3 three, three with Mark Tabak. There's no one able to win by more than one leg in this competition. Treble 19. He will return. Treble 10. Oh no, he goes 18s. 93. Well, why not? That leaves eight. Nice, Christian De Boer, 3-3-6 three, three, after 12 darts. You're not going to win these siding legs by that. And 30, 30. again. That's been his favourite score eight. in this leg, and it's cost him big time because Johan Engstrom has as many darts as he likes. Okay. He only needs one. This was, this was definitely the worst leg of the week for Christian De Boer, but it's not really handy to do it in a decider. Definitely not. It's unfortunate for Christian De Boer. However, it is a victory for Johan Engstrom. Four legs to three. Yeah. We've seen three Swedish players on the stream so far. They won all three, so it's a good day for Sweden. We are back in a couple of minutes with our next match. And that will be Thibaut Trico and Pero Ljubic. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 